Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. I'll show you how to make a stock model and use it to verify and compare. Let's get started. So here's our part. It's a simple little block. And we want to uh, pretend it's like a, a titanium piece that's been roughed in and heat treated. So in order to create the proper stock for verify we want to create a stock model so what we gotta do is take a plane this is just the way I do it I take a plane I rotate it on one of the faces I select the model, I go up to wireframe, silhouette boundary, click the check, and then I transform that wireframe out a certain amount. So let's say if we rough it within 50, I'll transform it out 50. Here, we'll transform it out. hundred thou. Okay, so we're pretending we rough this piece within one hundred thou. Next, we want to extrude that. Cross the entire thing. So we'll go three inches plus plus one hundred. So three point one. We'll go 0 0.1 on the side. So we got 100 thou on all faces. Now we're going to click on Boolean. We're going to pick one of the solids and we're going to add the other. Click the check and click the check. That's just an easy way to piece solids together. Now we're going to change the color to yellow and we want to move this solid onto its own level. We'll call it stock model. We'll move that to level three. And feel free to rewind this video. We're moving pretty quick. So we're actually going to change our part to a different color. Make that green. Okay, so we have two solids. We don't have a stock model yet, but we have two solids. One that's our part and one that is the stock. So, we need to go to toolpaths and we need to start creating this actual stock model. So we'll just click on mill like we normally do and then we'll, uh, we'll right click we'll go to mill toolpaths go down to stock model and here you can just um, click on model, click the arrow, and then you can go back to your levels and then click on the solid and it's going to use that as a stock model. And we'll just click the check here. So it's not quite lining up with our solid so what we can do is go back into parameters and change what plane it's supposed to be on. So we'll click on top and we'll regen that stock model. Okay, so that's awesome. We got a stock model going. And now it just appears as a toolpath. So you can go to that toolpath and it'll disappear. Now we can start adding toolpaths and then we'll be able to verify it and that will uh, we'll be able to show you why we create stock models that all has to do with verify so we'll just uh, create a simple toolpath here we'll just um, contour the top of this part
So we'll just do some speeds and feeds here real quick. Go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. It's titanium. We'll type in some info, half inch. Go 150. We use six fluter. We'll go two thousand. So we'll just type all the info in real quick. Always a good idea to edit your tools and put in some speeds and feeds that are accurate. So we'll go to cut parameters. We'll leave three thou on the floors. Multi passes, we'll do a couple multi passes here. Looks like we just need to change our plane. It's still on the side view, so we'll just put that right on top. Okay, and we'll just regen all this real quick. So, now I'll show you what um, the stock model is actually used for. So this is just verify. We can watch your toolpath. Oh, this is just backplot, sorry. We can watch your toolpath. But using the stock model, we can go into verify. Oh, actually we have to turn on the stock model first. That's important. Unless you click that button and turn on the stock model, it won't work. We're actually go back into our parameters of the stock model. We're going to change the name to stock model plus 100 thou. Now we can go click on the uh, button up top there and it shows up as stock model plus 100 thou. Now we can click on verify. And in our verify, our, our stock is that solid we drew earlier. And as we click play, we can see our tool taking away that hundred thousand worth of stock. Now if you click compare, you can set a tolerance zone. So you can click play, click compare, and then you can click this green button to the right, and that will show you how much material you have to take off. So on that face, it looks like we're within 10,000. If you click on the button on the far right, you can change the tolerance to, let's say, plus or minus 2,000. And then rerun it. So now, we still have to take some off that face, because remember we left 3,000? So this is a really powerful tool using the stock model plus verify plus compare, because you can set a really tight tolerance zone and you can pick away at parts that have been heat treated and you won't really miss any material. So if you have a very complicated part that's been like heat treated or some sort of stress relief, you can create a stock model and add toolpaths and pick away at it and then go into verify um, and compare it and you can see just exactly how much material you're leaving on.